In this particular module, I want to revisit the rule of 5 to 7 and the rule of 1 to 10. And for long-term fans, you can just skip over this for people who are going through these clips the first time. I'm practicing what I'm preaching. I'm, I'm repeating things and using different words to say the same things because it's so important. And the rule of 5 to 7 says that for the average adult, now there's some people that are above average, they can learn things in two or three takes, or some people a little slower, and they might take 15 to 20, but everybody can learn something. It's just a matter of repetition. And ideally, it would be variations on a theme. We'd have some case studies that would illustrate the same moral principle over and over type of thing. So the net of it is, is that people have passed this rule of three to 20, when they finally, as you see a light bulb go on over their head, they go, oh, wait a minute. I thought I got this before, but now I, I think I really, really have it. And I have it in a way that's robust and it's durable and I, I won't forget it. If you asked me six months from now, I'd still be able to tell you all about it. But to be able to get it in a way that you won't forget it is the same as being able to turn around or teach or sell it. Uh, to a first-time learner who's got to go through it three to 20 times. So when it comes to teaching, that brings the rule of one to 10 in, in, into play, which says that for every one unit of time we spend up here passing, repetitive getting it, we have to spend 10 times as much kind of practicing it, teaching it, selling it before we can do that with total emotional conviction. Because what happens is when I turn around and I'm preaching to a first-time student about something, it goes in one ear, makes a little bit of sense, goes right out the other ear, but they're left with some sort of emotion. They're left with, you know what? I think this dude, Bruce, really knows what the hell he's talking about. He really believes it. And since I trust him from other things he's done in the bathroom, remember, trust is a track record. Nobody gets free trust, big trust right off the bat. Then I'm inclined to buy whatever, buy whatever he's telling me. I just don't get it. But I, I'm encouraged to hang in there and do the five to seven on faith that there's really something to it and it's good for me and I, and I want to do it. So because we have to do this huge amount of repetition to sell with emotion and articulation and conviction in our eyeballs as we look at the, at the other person, uh, the first time teachers actually learn more about what's going on than the first time student. Now, this creates a hierarchical problem. If I am the CEO, of a distribution chain and at one of my locations we're doing certain things really well and I go out and do a deep dive to figure out why we're really doing well because the symptoms, the financial numbers are good, but what are the root, root, root causes, whether the locals know it or not, maybe they're just uh, inherited lucky stuff, conditions with competitors and customers in that marketplace. Very anyway, we turn kind of, you know, good, good stuff going on in one place into kind of a science. And then I have a quarterly management meeting. I say to all the other branch managers, okay, here is a best practice that we have figured out at branch 16. We want you to do it at the other 20 branches. Got it? They go, oh, yeah, boss, I got it. Well, no, they didn't. Uh, they just heard it for the first time. So that means the branch managers have to pass the rule of 5 to 7 and 1 to 10. Then they've got to, if they got a big branch, they've got different functional groups. They've got a lot of training and repetition to do to get a pure message down to Wally in the warehouse or Georgia in the truck to the point where they really know it, believe it, and have it. Now, a way of for the CEO to get the story directly to George and Wally is to do video uh, meme clips, as I'm doing here, or I'm prototyping or demonstrating. Now what happens is we can do this, we can do both. We can have our normal management meeting, our normal hierarchical cascading of get the, get the lessons down to the troops. But because we have all these little meme clips, we can get a pure unadulterated story consistently to all the troops as often as we need to, to ensure that we can spread best practices across the entire organization. Otherwise, I've seen plenty of chains where they cannot get great happenings from one location at all the others. So you just can't. And each one is its own little, um, you know, problem to solve. So that's a variation on the rules of 5 to 7 and 1 to 10. Thank you.